Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. And today is the return of the Beard Advice series. Uh, I got a little bit behind with uh, a lot of um, companies sending me lots of different scents, especially for the fall extravaganza that we did. So I had a couple guys been waiting patiently in the wings. Uh, so we're going to get right to it. So today we are featuring Joe. And Joe has a great looking beard going. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, texture to it. It's got some uh, curliness to it. Um, it's got a great mustache going on. Uh, Joe looks like he's a fun guy. He's, he sent me a couple of pictures, but then he also sent me his Instagram and Facebook uh, feeds and he said use whatever you want to out of it. So talk a little bit about it. Um, Joe said he wants to actually grow it a lot more. So uh, I know I didn't, really didn't need to be in a hurry anyway if he says he wants to grow it four to six more inches. So uh, I think it's probably grown out another half of an inch or an inch off of uh, what I see in some of these pictures. Anyway, it's looking great. Um, so if you want to let it grow, let it grow. It looks like you've got really good even growth all the way around. Uh, I will tell you that it probably at some point uh, it will get on your nerves and you'll want to do something to it. Um, so you can always get a good shape. And you said he wants to go about four to six more months and then uh, kind of get a good shape to it um, to kind of match his face or, or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> So I'm thinking at some point you probably want to uh, get a good shaping. Even as you're growing it out, you can still take off a half inch uh, to an inch or so to just trim the right spots and it'll kind of get some of that. Uh, you don't really have it yet, but I'll always get it. I just had to do a trim myself because the, the stuff in the front for me just kind of outpaces the stuff under here, which is really curly. So it ends up just kind of having some long stragglers and it doesn't look as even or as healthy as it can. So uh, I took about a half of inch or more off of mine uh, yesterday. So at some point you'll want to do that. And then once you get out to the length that you want, um, you can think about what kind of shape you want. Um, a lot of guys will go for the kind of the natural shape is a little bit more of the rounded shape as you see in this picture. And this is a really, really big beard, uh, but it looks like you've got the genetics to go for something similar to it. Uh, it looks like you've got, there's no holding back from your four to six more inches that you're talking about uh, getting on this. Uh, a couple things to consider uh, is you can go with the rounder shape or you can go uh, a little bit more boxy if you want something like um, uh, David from uh, Luxurious Bastard. His is a little more uh, rectangular shaped at the bottom. I tend to like the, the kind of the natural rounded shape a little bit better. Uh, keep it all nice and rounded and healthy, uh, healthy looking on the ends. And then your mustache. I think you got some potential there to actually get it separate and then go go on out there with that uh, mustache. You want to keep the ends trimmed up, but you can uh, get a little bit more bulk, have it go down in front of your lips even more if you can stand it. Um, uh, I've just got to where I can stand it. And over the past two years, you kind of figure out where the, where the happy place is, where it's not as aggravating. Uh, and it just takes a little trial and error and mustache wax and um, time um, on that. But uh, I definitely think it can really set off the look. So with the big beard, you get the big mustache. I don't like it when it gets really way too big and it's way out here to the sides. But a nice, healthy, meaty looking mustache uh, always helps polish off the look, I think. Uh, also notice, I don't really have a real profile shot of you, but there's a couple of guys um, that's got the big natural beards. And I, you, you may have heard me mention these guys before. One of them is Rene Madsen, I think his name is. I don't know if he's a beard model, but he actually has a pretty big Instagram and he posts a lot of pictures uh, and his beard uh, consistency kind of looks similar in density to what you've got. So he's got some great pictures. Uh, he's got the big natural beard, but he also um, uh, is, always has kind of a put together polished look. Uh, about it. So I always like the fact that you can have a big natural beard and still look good and dress nice and all that kind of stuff. So he's one that I like to follow. Uh, also, Chris Burnett, um, he posts a lot of, of pictures, but he's got the nice um, natural shape to it. He did a, a trim not too long ago, a few months back, that really kind of set his look off. 
uh, it just kind of enhanced the natural shape a little bit more. So a couple guys there you can follow to get some inspiration from. Um, I don't really have a good side profile picture of you, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly what you've got here on uh, the sides. A couple other things I noticed that you already do is you like trying different hats. So I would definitely uh, keep that up. You got some fun hats there. You uh, the one you wear at the Renaissance Fair or something. That one looks cool. And you've got the uh, you know the trucker ball ball cap, and then you've got the uh, the beanie. All of that stuff looks great. Um, as far as your hair, you right now it looks like you've got kind of high and tight, kind of tight on the sides, and then you got a little bit on the top. Uh, it looks great. Once you figure out where your beard's going to end up, then you can play around with your your hair a little bit and actually with a big beard uh just buzzing it all off looks great uh, especially if you can accent it with different hats that you already wear anyway so a couple of things to consider um you, we didn't really you didn't really talk about your routine or any of that stuff kind of needing help with any of the uh conditioners or co-washes and beard oil and all that stuff so i'm assuming you're you're heading down the right path your beard looks great it looks nice and healthy based off of some of the posts I've seen you put. I know you're using products and those kind of things, uh, but uh, let me know uh, what kind of products you're using to keep everything uh, looking good and healthy. And I'll make sure to share that with folks. Put it down in the comments. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for Joe, make sure you guys put them in the comments. Uh, think about where that thing's gonna be in four to six more inches. That's gonna be a nice, massive beard. Uh, but anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Joe, appreciate you sending me your pictures and for being patient there as I got around to making the video. But anyway, uh, thanks guys. Have a good day.